When I was a teenager, I had anorexia and I was so scared to eat anything. I was always starving myself. I was taking recreational drugs and I came, I basically went from anorexia to bulimia. So I was throwing up every meal I was eating just in an effort to get skinny. You know, that was my goal all the time to get skinny. I was hanging around a lot of other girls who were taking drugs as well. And I were just like, yeah, this is cool. Pop some ecstasy, snort some speed or some coke. No worries, you know, it's going to get us skinny. Who cares if it's dissolving your organs? It didn't matter at the time. I wanted to be like this and I was getting like that. At first, I was starving myself and starving myself, but then I really binge out like crazy. I mean like 6,000 calories in a day, six, 7,000 calories of junk food in a day for a couple of days, but I would spew it up. That's where the bulimia would come into it. I myself, a bit of background about me. Some of you don't know, some of you might know. Uh, diagnosed with eating disorders myself, clinically diagnosed by psychiatrists, psychologists, and binge eating disorder and anorexia. At one point, my body mass index was in the anorexic range, classified me as anorexic, and my eating so much fruit is classified, even still today, a binge eating disorder. So technically, clinically today, I still have an eating disorder, I still have a binge eating disorder, because if I sit down and eat 10 mangoes, which is about 1,000 calories, that's technically binge eating. Anorexia is a mental health disorder. All right? So someone has anorexia, they see themselves as overweight. And then they start eating enough calories, they start gaining weight, and they're like, oh my God, oh my God. So they'll write to us or on the internet, oh, do not feel they're wrong, I'm, I'm gaining heaps of weight. But they're anorexic, they need to heal themselves, they have a mental health issue. They're not always, they're not always anorexic though. They might be bulimic and yeah, the, eating disorders. And, so, you know, coming from being anorexic myself, when I started like smashing in the fruit meals, I was really conscious about having a Buddha belly. I was like, oh my God, you know, it's fat. Look, I'm fat suddenly after a meal. Yeah. But it was just all up here. And I've just got to say for the record, I do not have one now. I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, you know, high carb, raw vegan, fruitarian, fruit eater, that is an eating disorder. No, it's not. Okay, an eating disorder is when you've got disordered eating, where you feel like binging out all the time. I'm here about to eat one banana after my run this morning, and I'm gonna hit some more bananas later. So we'll right. see how many I can have, maybe 40, 50 today. Okay, here we have the full blender. Now you're gonna see me eat this whole thing, 20 bananas. Hey folks, so now I've got my 20 banana smoothie here and I'm just gonna pour some in here and make it easier. So let's get into it. I'm just gonna watch a YouTube video while I do this, so there's not gonna be any sound. Oh. I'm done. I've done my 20 bananas. As you can see, this is empty. Done. Wow. Yeah, I'm full. I'm full. I don't usually have 20 in one go. 15. Yeah, 10, 15. But 20, that's quite a lot. Uh, and there's my belly. <laughs> that is pretty big. That is pretty full. But you know what? This is going to go down. This will go down within, you know, half hour, 40 minutes, or, you know, when I first go and pee, because most of this is just water. Honestly, okay, I can poop three pounds. And that's definitely one of my secrets to having a flat belly as well. Getting up on that potty and squatting. Try it. So with a fruity, a floppy fruity floater, they are sometimes, you know, up to two kilos. Okay, so here we go. We're doing our 10 banana smoothie. Let's pour it in. So I put a little bit more liquid in this one. And now shifty, I'm gonna stretch. done. 
This is my 10 banana smoothie gone. I've done 30 bananas so far, 3,000 calories, around the 3,000 calorie mark. So, I'm going to see you for next meal. I'm a fucking binge eater as well. Because, no, you're not, Holly. You look like a fucking Auschwitz fucking unlock mode. Definition of a binge eating disorder is, there's about 10 little criteria. I'm going to read them out. Eats, this is me, eats an unusually large amount of food at one time, far more than the average person would eat. How many people have you met in your life who will see only 25, 30 bananas in one meal? Who would do the fuck that? Drew and I would. would. Eats when depressed or bored. I know if I'm getting a little bit down, I need to eat more food. So definitely that's me. So we've got two so far. We've got need one more. Eats large amount of foods when even not really hungry. That's definitely me. Because I eat in advance. I never wait for hunger. So I eat in the absence of hunger. So we've got three. So far it says you just need three. I can go for four. The binge eating occurs on average at least once a week for three months, mate. It's been occurring every fucking meal for the last 11 years. <laughs> so, yeah, Drew Ryder, 100% binge eater. Binge eater, 100%, 1,000%, a trillion percent, Drew Ryder freely, binge eating buddies. We do often, we go out and have a big binge fest, we'll start home and have a big binge fest, we'll cheer each other on. See, you know, make sure, come on, you can do the last bit, keep pushing through, have a break, come back to it. So with all this binging came spewing. Mm -hmm. Because I started to feel really guilty, because it was just like, what am I doing to my body? And I'm getting fatter. I want to get rid of this extra weight. And the only thing I needed to do was to vomit. I was vomiting a lot and I couldn't control my appetite any longer. For so long I had controlled it, I'd been like... Yeah, I can do this. So I'd absolutely spew everything up. I'll, most of my meals I was vomiting. And I really did a lot of damage to my body. Really. I lost a tooth. I got a couple of fillings. You know, because the vomit was coming up and dissolving my teeth, basically. I just felt trapped in this cycle of under-eating, binging, purging. Well, oh my god, there's a big chunk. Oh my god. Alright folks, I am up to dinner and I've got 20 bananas, so here and here. I can finish 50 bananas in one day, actually 51 if you include the first banana I ate, so time to eat. <laughs> All right, I'm done. 51 bananas today. This is finished. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really full. Oh, really, really full. Look at that belly. <laughs> I love to eat. I'm a food addict. I cannot. Some people can moderate their calories, but myself and Freely, we simply can't. We are just, we are addicted to eating. Sugar. I mean, I don't know many people on the planet that are addicted to sugar as much as we are. So what we're going to do here, this is what we do. We make it like a Thai banana smoothie. Add some sugar in there. Add the sugars that should be in there, but they're not because the fruit was picked too early. And that's the secret to... Put some coconut sugar in it. Just whack that in, that's like half a cup. So we're about 350 grams of carbs. In the box cereal, five... Uh... Yeah, 350 grams for the box of cereal. So that means I want to try and have a 600 gram of sugar this one. So I'm going to put about 300 grams of sugar on here. I don't use a teaspoon, I don't use a tablespoon. I pour the sugar on. So I'm going to measure out roughly about 150 grams of sugar there. That's it, it's close enough. So that's the sugar there on the cereal. And that, my friends, is how I can have a good stocked up glycogen tank for tomorrow. So you see that. Most people come to vegan lifestyle have some sort of eating disorder. So I don't have to eat as much because I've got an eating disorder and I, I master that behind veganism and raw foodism and, and yoga and stuff, but really it's just an underlying eating disorder because I don't know how to eat properly. So these are medjool, medjool dates. So I did the math 
This is about $720 US. I um, made an incorrect estimate yesterday. It's about $720 US for these. How long will it last us? That's a good question. Only about three days, I reckon. <laughs> Maybe three weeks. I'm going to need a box a day. That's my goal, a box a day. I'm probably going to have about 60, 60 dates a day. Well, someone said, you, you guys promote eating disorder, eating so much food. Come on, man. Look how fucking lean we are. Look how much we eat. We should eat less. You want us to eat less? Let's fucking up. Just really stand up and show the body. We gotta eat less. <laughs> there wouldn't be anything left of us. <laughs> we gotta eat less. Come on, man. What are you but fucking saying? And the raw food world out there, most people, 99% of people do a raw food diet, raging eating disorder. Raging eating disorder. And then I fell off the wagon because I started to under eat because I didn't see the weight loss results that I wanted to see soon enough. So I started to under eat. You know, we've seen so many people starving themselves for weight loss or under eating for their body's needs. It's not a long term solution, folks. It is not a long term solution. So I started to under eat. I went back to high fat vegan food and I felt terrible. I would visit every establishment, every like, okay, in one night I visited three establishments. I went from place to place to place and I loaded up at every single place. I smashed it in as much as I could until I was crying, until I was just in the corner, freaking like rocking, crying, holding my stomach going, what have I done to myself? Like I can't live like this anymore. On the verge of suicide, okay? Contemplating, contemplating suicide is what I did a number of times, which I've talked about in another video. So that's the point where I was getting to, I was, that's it. And so the only thing that I knew to do was to vomit. So that's what I did. I just vomited all up and I did this for a month. I mean, there is truth in it. There's a lot of fruitarians do have teeth problems. And you know what that is? Because they have eating disorders. They have bulimia. They're vomiting up their food. They're into one meal a day. They get to fruitarian world because it's just like restriction, restriction, restriction. And they can sort of hide the eating disorders behind that. I've been around this game since the... I've been vegan since 2001. I've been around this community for over 20 years. I've seen it all. There's a lot of eating disorders there. There's a lot of bulimia. A lot of fingers get out of the back of the throat, bleh, vomiting up the, the meals, of durian and the whatever people eating, you know, the fruits, vomiting it up. And I'm eating too many calories and my sugar. Blah, blah, blah. Just space cadets, man. All right. And then they get some teeth issues from their eating disorder, from their bulimia, stomach acid coming up and eroding the enamel. And then the people, oh, it must be the sugar. And I was like, oh my God. Breakfast is served. Beautiful Calypso mangoes. Oh, they're so good. So very good. And I've got about 17 here, so I'm gonna all these mangoes. So it's time to watch me eat them. Here is my big belly. That's just guaranteed 1000% to set you on that binge purge cycle that we all know is just vicious and it's, it's pernicious. A lot of people come to me because they have eating disorders. All right? I get it. They look at me and they're like, this guy's sin and he's lean and I want to be like that and blah, blah, blah. That's great. And so most, I'd say most people who come to me have some level of eating disorder, right? Or but most people, I'd just probably say 95% of people who come to me have some sort of eating disorder going on there or disordered eating. There's so much money in it. I'll tell you more stories. Even in person, you, I've seen them in the street, I'll tell you more. But there's so much money in it, man. There's so much money in it. So be careful of how much sympathy you give because 100%... These girls and guys on social media today, they're making money from their eating disorder. They're getting attention from it and they're getting an escape. If you have anorexia in Australia and you can't work, you literally get paid about $850 a fortnight. So all these girls on Instagram in Australia, they don't want to be cured because they're making fucking money from it. I stopped taking drugs, which were suppressing my appetite, and I just couldn't stop it anymore. My appetite just was like... It was crazy. I felt 
insane. Every day I would I would hide myself in my room, in my unit. I had a flatmate, but I'd hide myself in my room and just be binging out. So I was really making up for all that lost time for the years of under eating and taking drugs. And it was sort of this angry act, you know, making myself spew, punish myself. After a while of doing that, starving myself, having binge and spewing, it's like I attached so much pain to the vomit aspect that I didn't binge anymore. I just became enervated, so enervated that I just under ate the whole time. I was eating about 500 calories a day. And this went on for a good while. I started to get really skinny and I was taking drugs, I was snorting coke and it just got to the point where my mum was worried, everybody was worried about me and I saw a doctor once and he said, you're anorexic, your BMI is anorexic, you've got to do something soon or we're going to have to help you out here. And I was like, that's what I was doing, you know, I'd do the purge and then I'd be like, okay, tomorrow's a new day, I can do this and I had good intentions to start off with, you know, I'd good intentions, which means under eating. So I'd eat a couple of hundred calories for breakfast. By lunch, I'd be like, oh, I'm really hungry. So it'd get up to about maybe 600 calories. And then by the time dinner came around, I was like, get out of my way. I just want that food now. I had my special food that I eat all the time because I knew exactly how many calories were in everything. And if someone else ate any, I was just like, oh my God, my system, my, my system has been fucked up. I started to educate myself and then that led me to the raw vegan lifestyle. I also lost my period on a raw vegan diet. So when I first came to 100% raw food diet, raw vegan diet, that was back in 2007, January. And as soon as I came onto the lifestyle, like within the first month, I lost my period. It was gone. I educated myself and discovered that humans are frugivores. The fruitarian thing is just a purely, not purely, 90% eating disorder. I would say 90% of the people who go to a fruitarian diet have a raging eating disorder. The Woodstock Fruit Festival, or any fruit festival, any fruit festival attracts a lot of People with orthorexia, eating disorders, like the space cadets, and like, what? You know, most vegans have eating disorders. So, I mean, I could rattle off so many names. <laughs> They'd post up a lot of drama, though, wouldn't it? Um, you know, but yeah, it's, uh, it's really sad to see, man. It's really, really sad to see. Veganism, fruitarian life, you know, or fruitarianism is an eating disorder. All the fruitarians, not all, 99.999% of fruitarians I meet, raging eating disorders and their performance <laughs> going down it's uh it's very sad to see but they've got such an orthorexia they persist through the decline of fitness to chase their orthorexic goal all those times that you've been under eating vomiting up food um, starving yourself whatever it's going to come back and bite you in the ass my goal was you know firmly placed on weight loss that was the reason, that was the main reason I came to the lifestyle. I wanted to lose weight. And I know that's probably the main reason you came to the lifestyle if you're female. That's probably the main reason. Getting there. My record is a 20 pound watermelon in one meal. That took me a couple of hours. So you finished the melon, eh? Yep. There's my melon belly. Suck it in. Suck no, it in now. No, I don't suck it in. Look, just do it. This, do is, it. this is nearly finished. Suck it in. Suck it into the key, you go. It disappears. Good posture. You know, I have so many people contacting me saying, Freely, how do you get such a flat belly? <laughs> and another important thing is posture. Notice how like my shoulders are a bit rounded, chest is a bit sunken, belly's distended. Yeah, because I'm not sucking it in. I'm not practicing good posture. So this is good posture. Chest Whoa. up, shoulders back, belly button drawn into the spine. See how flat my stomach is now. I like a flat belly. Yeah, but you must have starved all day for this. No, this is the end of the day, actually. And so you got a fair bit of food in there? Yeah. Some few, probably a gallon a of fair bit fruit of food. and water. Honestly, I, I suffered from so many digestive issues before coming to this lifestyle. That was one of the main reasons that I actually came to uh, a fruit-based lifestyle is to get a flat belly. Flat belly? Flat belly? Flat belly? flat belly. I'm 41 this year and I have the flat belly. It's a reality that some people, once they have an eating disorder, it stays with them for life.